Alrighty guys, how the hell are you doing this morning? Hope everybody had a good, good evening. And we are on our organic slash orgasmic land. So just getting started here, we're right full. Um, because this is not fertilized, like I said before, it's organic. I upped the rate to two and a half bushel an acre. Is that the right thing to do? I have no idea. She's wanting to clump on me because it's so soft from the pre-working. Just on the very outside edge here where every once in a while I'll catch a pile of fucking shit from the hay field. But anyways, um, yeah, we're just getting started out here. We're, uh, uh, right full. I upped the rate just slightly. Down sesame and go. There we go. So the thought here is a few more seeds in the ground to germinate. Um, when we get that rains, them timely rains, hopefully, fingers crossed, we get the timely rains. And when we get that canopy going, it'll help shade and preserve moisture for the alfalfa and grass. That's the idea. That's why I added a few more seeds to go in the ground here. On our field at home, we started off at uh, 70 pounds. And then I upped it to 75. And out here we're at 84. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. We're going to work at seeding this 45 acre plot down if we could do 62 at home in a day I shouldn't have any issues doing 45 out here today right again fingers crossed right so so I'll let you guys go for now and we'll yammer at y'all later. Alrighty guys, while well, we're still plugging away out here on this uh, basically 44 and a half acres. It's, you really gotta pay attention out here cause uh, with all that quack grass root, it'll ball up in the hoe drills and then because we just dissed it like what three four days ago um, then it wants to start pushing dirt uh, my my hoe drill is on eight inch centers so for doing trashy stuff it's not the greatest because she'll plug up on you and she'll plug up really fast if you're not careful so you, I'm constantly having to lift, and uh, we're constantly having to lift and pull out of our of our line, let it empty out, and then loop around, drop her back down, try and spread that fucking beaver pile. So yeah, 
It sucks. But we got a big chunk of the far end done. Uh, just filled the machine here, like I said, I think earlier. So I should have got darn near enough on board to finish this field. And if I don't, then we're gonna have to go home and get a little more oats because uh, for what's in the trailer, uh, it, won't, it won't fill me, I know that. It might fill one and a half boxes, but that's it. Unless I just use a freaking pail and pail it into the trailer or from the trailer cheap man's grain trailer into the hoe drills but anyways so yeah that's one of our our dilemmas out here is those roots are well you can just kind of sort of see them they're everywhere if you think you're looking at straw it's really not so much straw it's the damn it's the damn roots. But, anywho, it's what we gotta deal with on this orgasmic land. So, I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm gonna keep plugging along. We'll talk to y'all later. Alrighty, guys. Well, we're into our last fill. And I don't need to be right full. Three quarters is way more than enough for what I gotta do. And that would include my little grass piece at home, too. So, that box is done, we'll do this one, and we'll do this one, the middle one last, because then we gotta pull the truck ahead a little bit. So yeah, fun, 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 let's get her done. It's supposed to freaking thunderstorm at some point this afternoon, evening and possible rain. Uh, it is raining in some places of this wonderful province. Talk to my brother down Wood Mountain where it's normally a desert and they've been getting the rain this year. He's been like rained out for two days basically. So anyway, let you guys go, yammer later. And that is a wrap. Our green feed. 110 acres is all done. I still have some seed in the boxes, so I'm just going to walk this thing home. And we're going to pull right onto that hay field that I was showing you guys at home. That's real patchy. A nap. CP wants a nap. I'm tired. <laughs> you kept me up all night. You did. I did not keep you up all night. Yeah. Molesting my sheets. <laughs> yeah. More like CP was keeping me up all night molesting me. No. Yeah. No. Never. But what's the saying? Plant in the dust and your bins will bust. What's the other one? Plant in the plant in the mud and what happens to your bins? Don't look at me, I don't know. Do you know? No. If you guys know the answer, let me know. Where'd you hear that one from? Hyper Doug. Oh. Well what did he say? He never. Oh, he didn't yeah. say what happens oh. if you plant in the mud. Oh. I know what happens here when I plant in the mud. Yeah. I run out of bin space. No, you never see a woman in my hole. And I bury the tractor. Yeah. <laughs> Every time. But guess what? You didn't get stuck this year. I did not get stuck this year. That's and a first. I planted everything on this ground. So it's guess a, what? Come in time. We're going to get stuck. We're going to get stuck. 
don't be saying that. Just do. Anyways, so yeah, I know I got way more than enough for you guys, so fun, fun, fun. Let's get her done. We'll catch you later. Barley's on the on the next page. Morning, everybody. Well, we got the outside of the cheap man's grain trailer, cheap man's grain truck, and now we're filling her up with some barley seed. Uh, four times three, 120, 30, about 145 bushels. I'm gonna seed the barley at three bushel an acre, I'm thinking. And it's colder today. Are you freezing yet? She's dressed for minus 40. <laughs> Even BB has his heavy coat on today. So, but yeah. I just said, even BB has his heavy coat on today. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah. But we're not as cold as uh, northern Alberta. Chad Tosh was telling me it's minus two there this morning. And this is what, May, I don't know. Uh, I'm thinking it's right around May 18th, May, May 19th, something like that. I have to double check. It might only be the 15th. But anyway, we'll get filled up here, and then we're going to head to the field, fill the hoe drills, and we'll get going, and I'll bring you guys back once we're out there. Talk to you then. Alrighty, guys. So, first style 2200, right? Box hoe drill. Now, how to set these guys. It's right there. So basically, you loosen off this wing nut. And then, this handle, see that moving in there? So what's your rate? And that's how you set your rate, is by opening them up. See that's opening, when you move this handle this way, it pulls on the shaft to bring it out this way, which opens your cup. And so, and then you get it set to the, there's a chart on the lid on the inside of the box. And I want to be pushing the three bushel an acre mark for my barley. So, uh, at 48 pounds multiplied by three, I think I had figured out I need like 145 pounds going down per acre. I can't get that high. The highest I can get is like one, I can't remember. I think 45, the opening of 45 on this particular machine. Uh, 10 hose per drill. 10 hose, that's what she said. The biggest I can go is 129. So that's like two and a half bushels an acre. On oh, number 45. So that's where I gotta set each box individually. So I'll let you guys go, we'll bring you back later. Alrighty guys. So it is May 18th, Saturday, May 18th. Remember the hay field out here? How's it look now?
I'll give you a better view once we get turned around. We want to be. Anyways, there you go. It doesn't look that bad. <clears throat> I went in there and uh, when we got done our seeding our green feed oats, and I dropped the machine in the ground and we did this little four or five acre plot. <laughs> Added oats in, and if we cut that stuff by mid-July it'll still be in grassy stage so it'll make really good small square hay bales still if we want it to but my loving wife is saying I don't want oats in my bales not for my horses not for my horses <laughs> so now when we get the Valmar to spread our alfalfa grass mix I could uh, yeah nice rock pile right see some of them big bastards up there we picked those anyways by hand well on those McCormick. on those real big ones it was the McCormick the hands were picking them because the hands were controlling the tractor or the track hoe that we hired for an afternoon, a day, something like that, just to pick rocks. Anyways, uh, yeah, we're going to spread more alfalfa grass on top of this ground out here. So it should work out okay, I think. Anyway, working on round number two. I'm just taking my time. I'm not going overly fast. We're only doing 3.7, so... I'll bump her up once we get in our straightaways. So, anyway, I'll let you guys go. We'll talk to you later. Alrighty, guys. So, we did five rounds on this field. And now we're going to go back and forth at an angle. But, fuck me. That solar flare really popped up bad and, fuck, sent me out by, like, freaking 20 feet from one end of the field to the other. It's okay, you're just a little crooked. <laughs> <laughs> I, I blame solar flare on the GPS not working. The auto steer, solar flare, it, some guys it shuts them down 100%. Zoom in on it. This guy, this guy, <laughs> this guy didn't shut us down. It just friggin' took us and sent us way friggin' off. Yeah. We're uh, definitely not uh, not straight by any means. I don't know, like fuck, solar flare fucking kicked it right out completely. Yeah, okay. I'm blaming solar flares, <clears throat> but every row after this will just follow that row. The GPS will follow that road now. The GPS will follow that road. We'll just, that'll be uh, that's that's the line the GPS is going to follow now. Yep. Can you talk about my crooked garden? Your garden's only freaking. I don't have it. Fifty GPS. feet long. Not five thousand. 500,000 feet long. That's not the point. <laughs> anyway, we're back. We're filled right up here again. And uh, here we go. Five rounds basically emptied the machine. We weren't empty, but there's no way I would have made another round. Maybe a quarter of a round for what was left there. So, when you're putting damn near three bushel of seed down, uh, 
she gets chewed up real fast. Anyway, talk to you guys later. Alrighty guys, well, CP and I are still plugging along out here. All we got is this little corner about, I don't know, four acres. What the hell? What the I heck? I got a wind blowing. I really need a shower. Yeah, she's a little breezy today. It's close. Wind gusting a 54. I ate a lot of dirt today. Could be worse. What? Could be branding cows. In the wind. No. <laughs> I'd be like, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Excuse uh, my French. <laughs> yeah, you guys heard her say it, not me. Yes, she can she not can in the wind. she can she can maximize the sailor talk just fine. Babe, um, I live with you, babe. That's right, you do. <laughs> I have to teach you something, right? Well, it's 40 below and I don't give a fuck. Got a heater in my truck. You don't get monetized. <laughs> lift, lift, you dumbass. Lift. I need to fix fence. Yeah. And we got lots of rocks to pick. We got fence that needs to be fixed. It needs to learn how to fix fence. Anybody want to learn? I'll show you how. Here, you hold that. I got to work with hydraulics. I don't want it on my face. Yeah, it's on your face. There, that's better. Uh, looking at your beautiful face is better, babe. <laughs> Not today. So, you were asking questions. Ask. Who wants to learn how to fix fence? I'll show you how. I know somebody that needs to learn how. He just lives right over there. Who? Richard. Oh. <laughs> That's a lost case. That's a lo lost cause. <laughs> What's everybody doing for the long weekend? Labor Day weekend, guys. Monday's a holiday. Yeah. CP and I have been busting our butt. We did. In fisherman terms, we did 1,700 acres. And he doesn't even fish. In fisherman terms, though, we did 1,700 acres. How do you know this? Because when a fisherman catches a two inch long fish, it's fucking 12 to 22 inches long. Oh. That's how I know. It's We're not, that big, is it's it? It's that big, yes. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> isn't isn't it the same way when a cow has a calf? That's Whoops. fisherman's terms, right? No. No. Or when the neighbor gets more rain than you? When the you? neighbor gets more rain than me, it's fisherman yeah. terms. See, yeah. right? Yep. What, one more pass through here and this little piece will be done? No, a little more than that. Yeah, one and a quarter. We'll come back. Later. Here we go. That is done. So, unless something happens where the neighbor says, come and do some seeding, or here, I'll rent you this piece of ground, we've managed to pull off 1,700 acres, as fishermen friends say. <laughs> okay, 170 acres with 20 feet in basically three small days. One bigger day, but that we didn't start until 1 o'clock and we quit at 9.30. Ah, oh, missed a spot right there. I guess we got to get that spot right there, right? Yeah. 
Okay, we're gonna get that spot, guys. You'll you'll be here with us for the final swipe. Here, give me the phone so you don't hit the power box. So I don't take out the power box. Okay, let's take out the power box. No. Straight for it. No. Right for it. Down sesame. Over the hump and all. Right through the trench. Well, Done. You kinda got it. You didn't get With, nothing. Without falling out of my seat. Did you get it? Not really. So there's the cheap man's grain truck. And that's the power box that they need to come and fix. Now we gotta put this thing in transport mode and uh, head for home. So grain seeding for 24. Is now completed. Woohoo! We'll catch you guys later.